Previously on Forbidden Land Z. Throkar and Venaris are still riding the combat high and lug Jirman to appear before Mrs. Palmer for a crime he didn't commit. While standing outside her door, Jirman makes a case for not framing him like a seasoned attorney, and several unseen ravens ominously caw and careen into things off camera. The unwitting murder bros decide that the half-elf, half-lawyer, half-rust buddy makes some salient points, and after reuniting with a previously lost and quintessentially confused Throated, they have to explain why German isn't actually Rolt. Viewers are left to wonder if Throated's eyesight is failing him or if he has an underdeveloped sense of object permanence. The Fatal Foursome decide to head back to Nervea to turn in the homicide quest for XP and vilification by the NCR. Upon their arrival, she's looking tremendously vivacious, and it's almost surprising that no one in the crew floats a seduction role. But it's also possible that no one has any recollection of Jane Seymour at all. Nervea announces that she's ready to leave and requires an escort. The gang agrees, but only if they heal German who is seemingly overjoyed that he's been spared a scolding by the diabolical Mrs. Palmer. Throkar also begrudgingly sets aside his primary mission to apprehend Yawim under the auspices that Venaris, the only town guard and murder accomplice extraordinaire, will aid him upon their return to the Hollows. Nervea provides healing and is only exasperated after Throated begins a diatribe on tea. With everyone operational, Nervea advises that more vital information for the group can be found with the Raven Sister known as Varelda. Concerned that by daybreak the townsfolk will discover David Carradine's corpse and destroyed lawn, the group finally ventures out from the hollows. Suddenly, time pauses as if the characters have left the tutorial which had gripped them so fiercely. The real world splays out before them and the world map is suddenly visible. Locations begin to be marked through a lengthy roundtable discussion. Viewers are left to truly value the concerning amount of mapping that Google has done for Earth, since nothing seems set up in the Forbidden Lands. After a few hours of wandering, the merry band of marauders plus one medicine woman set up camp, by which I mean Tess Throated's housekeeping abilities. Straw beds are made, watch is kept, and the band of hero fugitives finds rest in the scary landscape previously covered by the blood mist. What will happen next? Will Rolt threaten to turn Aponia around and head back to the hollows for some politics and snitching over scones with Mrs. Palmer? Will Sroded provide a tea turndown service or quit his short-lived career in housekeeping to plot equine homicide? Will Venaris have any idea what to do with himself without a steady supply of sacrilegious sud sauce? Will Wuldreg be sad that Throkar seemingly abandoned him to complete his mission of apprehending Yawim alone? Will Jirman extract his revenge on the gang for providing the literally coldest welcome possible? Will Vale be so overjoyed that the party escaped the hollows that he'll give all the players cool artifacts? Will anyone investigate the conspiracy that Aponia's name spelled backwards totally sounds like, Hey, nope. Find out on another exciting episode of Forbidden Land Z.